Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Oh. Hi. Oh, we're so. Oh, good kitty. She's a good kitty. Look at her little paws. Look at her little paws. Oh, she's so cuddly. Hi, I'm Caitlin with a K, and this is my 2013 Project for Awesome video. Woo! One thing you may or may not know about me is that I am a certified crazy cat lady. Purr. Well, I'm not quite certified yet. Just one measly online class away. Anyway, the adorable kitten you saw in the opening clip is my mom's cat, Annie. She adopted Annie from a nonprofit organization called Project Purr BR. Project Purr BR serves my hometown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and exists to save the lives of as many cats and kittens at the city's pound as they possibly can. Now, if you're like me, you have to close your eyes, cover your ears, and run out of the room screaming la 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 when those Sarah McLaughlin sad animal commercials come on. In the arms of the angels. I am such an animal lover that I just want to weep uncontrollably whenever I think about how many amazing animals are killed at shelters every year just because there's not enough space for all of them. That's why I think it's so important to support organizations like Project Purr. Project Purr BR rescues cats and kittens that are at imminent risk of being put down at the shelter. They place them in foster homes, provide vet care, including spaying and neutering, and then they adopt them into loving homes. Prior to Project Purr's existence, 90% of felines who went to the shelter in Baton Rouge were put down. 90%. I can't even. But in the first two years of Project Purr's existence, they have rescued over 2,000 felines from being killed at the shelter. And they are being adopted into homes all over Louisiana and other states as well. Project Purr BR wants to make Baton Rouge a no-kill community. A community in which no healthy, treatable, or rehabilitatable dog or cat is put down. But they can't do it alone. A no-kill community requires involvement from the entire community. I know that most of you live too far away to volunteer your time, but donations help too. It stands to reason that the more donations they receive, the more animals they can provide care for. That's why I hope you will vote for this video on the Project for Awesome website and help Project Per BR win some of the monies. I hope you will also do some Googling and find a similar organization to support in your own community. I bet there is one, you just gotta look for it. Another thing to think about if you've always wanted a dog or a cat but can't afford to fully commit to caring for an animal is maybe fostering a dog or a cat instead. Fostering still gets that animal out of the shelter and gives organizations like Project Per BR more time to find that animal a forever home. I'm going to put a link to Project Per BR's website in this video's description, and I'll also link to several articles on PetFinder.com about what it's like to foster a pet. You can also use PetFinder.com to find lots of adoptable animals in your area. We thank you all so much for watching, have a happy holiday season, and go hug your pets. Unless your pet is a cat who doesn't like to be hugged. Cats, am I right? Just in case you aren't already convinced to vote for my video, here's a Chipotle burrito.